In this video, I'm going to use ArcMap to add a data layer from my hard drive and change the symbology on it to make it more usable to us as we're workflowing projects uh, using GIS. I'll go to my Add Data button and I will add my Moody County Zoning layer into the project and the data shows up a lot of its right in here so we'll pay attention to this area right here in fact I'll zoom in just a little bit and we can see that it all comes in as one symbol just a beige color in this case what I want to do is I want to change those colors up based on what the zoning types are when I open up the attribute table I see that there is a column in here called zoning and when I scroll down the list, I can see that some of these say CI, some of these say NR, some of these say LP. So there's different values in our zoning, and these correspond to the, the zoning types. So what I'll do is I'll right-click on the, on the layer, I'll scroll down to Properties, and we'll change this to the Symbology tab. From here what I want to do is I want to change from single symbol to unique values and we'll do that under categories if I click categories you can see that unique values is the first choice in uh, my my uh, indents here so we'll leave that and then you want to change the values field to zoning so you click the drop down you'll select the appropriate column in this case it's zoning and then what I want to do is I want to add all the values that uh, are in the, the zoning layer field. And these are all the unique values. So we have uh, CI, LP, and NR. And then there's an all other values, which the count of those is zero. So I'm just going to shut that off because I don't want to see all other values. And then what we can do is we can go in and we can change uh, the color of these, like commercial industrial. If we want to change this color to a reddish, and then we can change uh, LP, Lake Park, maybe that's an orange. And then Natural Resource, maybe we'll make that a greenish color. And then we hit Apply and OK. And you can see that my colors are changing. We have a few of these are RCI. We have a few of these as NR. And that's how you change the symbology. Another thing that you can do is you could label these uh, based on what they are uh, by going to properties again and go to labels. We have the labels field as zoning. And under placement properties, what I like to do is I like to put only place labels inside Polygon. That way they don't get obnoxiously large or clutter up your map when you zoomed out a long way but and I also like to remove duplicate labels so you can see those are actually well, you know what we'll place one label for feature in this case check to add labels um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll change the symbology and let's uh, let's give it a halo so I'm going to edit the symbol and I'm going to go over here to mask, change this to halo, and this is going to put a white halo around the, the text. And then I'm going to go back to general and change my size to 12. Hit OK. I hit OK here. Hit apply. And that will label our zoning. You can see how these have natural resource in them, but if I zoom in tighter, We'll get CI to show up as well. But if you zoom out far enough, that label just goes away. Now, if you want each individual labeled, like we have each each individual feature is labeled, you can leave it like this, or we can go back and we can change that labeling again under placement properties to remove duplicate labels. And I'll apply this. And what you're going to see is this one's labeled, but these two aren't. That way, if you go in and you look at it, you don't have NR showing up on 
every single one but you can see this one and notice that the green mean natural resource the the reddish pink means commercial industrial this is all a matter of choice the last thing that I recommend you do is right click go down to properties and go to the display tab and I will set some transparency to this let's make this 35 percent transparent and apply and what you'll see is now I can see through that image it's still colored but I can see through to what's underneath this makes the data layer a lot handier to use when you're working with aerial photography